Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we're going to do a cash stuffing prep. I haven't had a single video out this week because it's just been, it's been a week. Long story short, I had to ask the contractors to come out and finish the job that they were asked to do the first day but kept fighting me on it and telling me there wasn't enough wood and then telling me it wasn't on their work order and then telling me it was too much work and so when I told their boss, who really wants to push this 100% satisfaction guarantee, um, all the things that had happened, he sent them back out. Well, then the work is done out of spite, and it just goes downhill, okay? We'll go on a little tour. So, yeah, we're letting all that go for right now, and I am going to light my... DW Candle, DW Home, has the best, craziest scents you've ever heard of in your life, and I love them. Um, this one is Sunflower Fields. I like to burn this in the autumn time. So we're going to maybe burn that. And allow the wonderful, soothing scent to fill the air. Okay? All right. First of all, um, what I want to do, I want to go through my new budget binder. Well, not my new, but this is, I've revamped it. Okay, let's just put that out there. So, I have on here, um, I need a pointer, we'll just use this, um, you know, the house is due on the 1st, HOA, IRA, all due in the 1st. The water is due on the 5th of every other month. So the next time it's due is on uh, November 5th. I now have my Home Depot. <laughs> I have my Internet. I have still I think I've got one more month of overpayment on that, and then it'll probably, you know, come due. Mm. Um, electric varies. Best Buy, I've added that. It's due on the 16th. Serious, um, I have through February. That's $6. My phone is $77. Sling is $47. My gas and my Virginia Credit Union payment vary. Um, what I try to do with these three debts is to put $50 down at a minimum each check depending on how high all of my other bills are. If I have a little bit extra, I'll split it and put half of it as a buffer in my checking and half of it towards debt. Um, just trying to put as much as I can towards that debt. All right. Um, I went through and I updated all of this. This is my 26 weeks. I think it's like $346 or something. And I'm filling the envelopes. 1 through 25. And I've filled everything. Uh, 1 through 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then I've filled... 24, 25, 26, and 22. So now all I have left to fill are 21, 23, 20, 19, 16, 18, and 17. And this week I have it to where I'm going to stuff the 16. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in so that I know we're doing 16. Will I regret that decision? I, I could because uh, I might come in here, you know, tomorrow and be like, oh, wait, what's that? Did I already stuff the 16? So maybe we should put a little star by there and write 16. That way I know I haven't filled it because I haven't colored in my piggy. <clears throat> Um, here is usually where I do my denomination breakdown for what we're doing um, as far as stuffing my wallet, 
the weather, <clears throat> save the date, 26 weeks. I've already done that, so I'm not, I don't usually do that part on camera. <clears throat> um, this is October, and I got paid today, so tomorrow we're going to have our cash stuffing. Um, and I don't even think I did anything over here. I haven't. Isn't that terrible? I said I was going to start using this so y'all could see, but we have bigger, better things going on. We'll explain that later. All right, so I want to empty out my wallet and my change purse and ha have a fresh, clean slate with any money that I have left over in here. I can either put it back into my $1 challenge and let it build up till I have enough, or I could, you know, if it's like $2, I could put it in here. Uh, this is the 100 envelope savings challenge that I've started, and I took the money from my $1 envelope, um, I believe it was a couple of weeks ago, and, and put it in here. And I did four, five, and ten. So yeah, I could do one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever I have. Okay. And then you just stuff them down into these envelopes. All right. So let's first let's do the change first. So that takes a little bit of time. I have to reorganize, I want to reorganize my craft room. I want to have things that I don't do anymore, get rid of it. Things that I want to do, start building it up. But then I'm like, this craft room is really where I'm going to be in retirement. I'm going to be making cards and coloring and planning and doing crafts and all that. So I'm like, I, I can't get rid of anything. <laughs> it's hard. But if I can at least organize it, I mean, it's pretty organized, but after the clutter of moving and packing, not moving, but packing it and unpacking it and then moving it around so that they could put, finish their job, I, I mean, just traumatized, y'all. Just traumatized. That's why I didn't film any this week. What is this? This is a... Anna May Wong is on the back of this quarter. Uh, it's from 2022. Not really sure what that. I don't know anything about the Anna May Wong. If you do, let me know in the con comments below. I don't know anything about it. All right. Let's see where we're starting off. Good five, six to five. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't do it. Oh, did it add it? I think this is the first woman that went into space. I don't want to get rid of that. That's awesome. Maybe that's what the long thing is. Oh, why not? All right, so give or take, <laughs> I'm at about $57.93. Almost $60. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. 
I love cinnamon. So I'd say it's about a quarter of the way filled. Very, very cool. Every penny counts. All right, so from my wallet, oh, we have another nickel. Oh, oh, hold on. $7.98. Who knows if that's right. Anyway. All right, so gas, I spent all of that. Groceries, I spent that. Dining out, I did not stuff. Shopping, I did not stuff. And buffer, I had $10. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six dollars left. Let's make sure none of these are star notes. And these will go right into the six envelope in my 100 envelope challenge. And let's get a brown color. Let's see how brown permanent pen works on it. See, this still gives me the chance to do a little bit of coloring with my budgeting and have a little bit of fun with it and bring it to life with some color. Okay. So then, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, Five, six. It's going right here into the six envelope. Maybe. If it wants to. We're not we're not quite sure if it won't stay. There we go. I would imagine these are probably made for like the least amount of bills, but we're doing what we got. <laughs> okay. So that's done. So we will be stuffing the wallet tomorrow. Um, gas will get... 45, groceries will get 50, dining out gets nothing, shopping gets 20, and buffer gets 10. That's going to be 135 going into my wallet tomorrow. And the reason why I'm giving myself some shopping money is because I have visions of sugar plums dancing in my head. And I have this whole color scheme for my tree this year, and... I just want to do it because I can't do gingerbread again for like the fifth year in a row. You know, it's a problem. It's just a problem. It's not a problem, but it is a problem. Okay, okay. Now, the last thing I want to do is fill out my... Well, I don't have it. I don't know where it is. I was going to fill out my slip, but the total amount that I will be taking out tomorrow, where is the one that I wrote down? I think it's in here. Remember, October 1st, I wasn't able to pay the full amount, so um, we're going to have the wallet which is 135. We're going to do the date. I got paid on the 25th. We're going to do um, 26 weeks. 
which is 16. And I owe you on the weather. And I owe you um, $47. I believe that's what it is. So my total cash tomorrow will be a little bit larger. It's going to be $213. We'll do the date. Um, and we're doing the weather. I owe you. Yes. Oh, 37. Shoot. Okay, I've got an extra 10. Uh, 37. All right, so I'll take 203 out. Do I do that? Or should I take the extra 10 and put it in fun because basketball season starts and I need to be ready to buy my dinners and stuff. 20, 30, 40, 55. Yeah, that's not going to get me far. We'll put 10 in there. 37 in weather. Let's make it easier. 37 in weather. And then B-ball is getting 10. Okay? Before we go, I need to take you around and show you the work. Okay? We need to do that. All right, this is one of the rooms they had to do. They didn't replace my baseboards in this room, the workroom, my bedroom, neither bathroom, or the closets. So, very angrily, uh, I was told to move all of the furniture to the center of the room. You come in each room and move all of this furniture to the center so that they could get to the walls and install and then I had to take 12 foot long 8 foot long 6 foot long whatever they were baseboards downstairs and outside for them to cut that was after he called his boss and sent him like a video of what my house looked like of course I put my house back together it's been two weeks you should have done it right the first time okay let me calm down so this is this is this is it. This is what we've got. You know, we've got some questionable caulk going up my walls. Uh, okay, not too bad. Um, I have been walk working. Excuse me. I have been working on my baseboards. They're not perfect, but they're better. I'm not, you know, a carpenter by any means, but when you come up the stairs, it at least doesn't hit you in the face with swelling MDF, right? It looks bad. Yes, I have to finish my doors. And I keep saying every night I'm going to just turn on YouTube and paint while I'm like, I get right in my bed. This is up here because the cat gets up here to get to his potty. And he keeps scratching my beautiful wall, and it just, it's irritating me. Anyway, so there's that, okay? That one so far was the best one that I did. The least obvious, I guess you could say. So anyway, they had to uh, come in here and do it throughout my bedroom. Um, you know, got that done. Got all that done. There's my clothes. I just stripped my clothes off and said, we're going. Going to film and then we're going to bed. It's been a week. So, they did this. Okay. I don't know that it's normal to have a seam. I, we don't know because we don't do, but why is it, why is it this is higher than the, Okay, I have to come through and paint all of that. 
But, you know, I really like it not painted. Oh, I like it not painted. But that caulk job, ew, can't do that. Okay, great. All right. So, they did this bathroom, which has all of my tools for doing my baseboards. And there's me. Hi. <laughs> Um, and they did this, you know, got that done behind the toilet. Okay, that's good. Did not do my closet, and I told them it's fine. Leave it, because I'm not moving all that stuff. Here's the one I'm working on. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just taking my multi-purpose tool or whatever and cutting the baseboard about there. Pulling out all of that swollen MDF. All this is still MDF, but this is pine and won't absorb all of that nonsense. So I filled it in with some DAP and I'm going to caulk down here and caulk over here and then uh, put some kills and some varnish and some paint and make it look good. Because that's what, you know, I mean, that's not even bad. Oh, wait, I got to show you that. Okay, yeah, like this right here, they did that. When they were pulling off the old, they pulled off this and just left it. I have another one somewhere that I noticed. I think it's in my room. Let me think, where did I see it? It was on a doorway, oddly. And it was on a doorway that didn't have anything wrong with it. It was like, oh, I don't have to replace it. It might be down. No. I was going to say it might be downstairs, but it wouldn't be because they had done that on the first day like they were supposed to. Okay? Not there. Yeah, see, i got to replace that bottom part. So I'll probably... Cut this at about right here, so I have plenty of room. But see where they pulled it up? Oh, y'all can't see anything. I'm cutting it about right there. Get all that out. This is where they pulled paint off because they didn't care. Anyway, I know y'all don't care about all of that. It's fine. It's fine. So then they came in this room and they did all of the baseboard. This was the last room that they did. Okay. So I'm putting all my furniture back. And I notice, wow, that's sticking away from the wall. Why is it sticking away from the wall? Because they didn't nail. None of this has been nailed. But it has been caulked. Or was it? Mm, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. None of it's nailed. So, you know what I did? I got some mad. I came in here and I took this and I uh, pushed it up against it and said, just going to stay that way. I'm not asking anybody to come back in and do anything because they did not care. They just did what they had to and said, sayonara, lady. We're out. I do love the baseboards, though. Good golly, I love that pine. I might not paint them, like in this room in my craft room. <laughs> but I have to because of the ugly co All right. Anyway. So, yes, I'm thinking about contacting Home Depot and saying, I want a meeting with you, your plumber, your uh, room and off, uh, whatever they're called, the renovation people. The boss, the workers, the girl I spoke with, I want everybody there. Oh, wait, haven't shown you. Have not even shown you. I kept this for evidence. They threw out the other piece of evidence, but I kept this one because I knew they'd try and hide it because they broke something again yesterday. Don't, I haven't figured out what that was. Look what they did. They didn't have any rags to wipe, wipe their caulk off, so they used my glove, my winter glove. Glove that they found in a basket or 
whatever they could find. They used one of my cleaning rags. They used this, and I saved this, and I'm taking it to the store with me, and I'm going to have all my evidence, all of my notes, all my everything. We're going to court! We need to go to court. So, yeah, I'm just going to let Best, uh, let Best Buy, let Home Depot know that I will no longer, or I will never, um, refer them to anyone that, I mean, and I get it. It's not their stuff. They don't care about the stuff because it isn't theirs. But if your reputation is, you're going to text me multiple times a day. Let us know you're extremely satisfied. We want you to be extremely satisfied. And then when you're not satisfied, the worker comes back and has even more excuses as to why he can't do it and tells you that you got to move everything out of the way and get it prepped. And all he's going to do is lay it down and then doesn't even do it correct. That's not customer satisfaction. So we're going to have a meeting, and I'm going to let them know the 975-year-old plumber that put the gasket in upside down because he couldn't see it needs to go. You're going to have to find another hobby, buddy. You know, be a botanist. Start growing some flowers or something. Uh, I need for them to not make claims about how they will come out the day before, make sure all the materials are there, and speak with you about what you want. That didn't happen. Oh, that's in a contract, too. Where do I work? Law school? Got lawyers around me? Uh, what classes did I take? Contract law? Oh, okay. Okay, great. Four corners. Four corners. They got ripped off. All right. Anyway, that's contract talk. Anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> that's why you haven't seen me. I've been eating candy and greasy pizza, and drinking sodas, and gaining four to five pounds, and just trying to survive, okay? But I will see you tomorrow. We're going to have a fabulous day. It's a whole new week. We're going to start it. We're going to be happy. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I love gaining new friends. Let me know what you enjoyed most about this video, what you're looking forward to most coming up during the holiday season. And I will see you tomorrow for a cash stuffing. Bye, everyone.